Hey, so I want to talk about how I flip 12 king size pillows into a 200k profit. And I'll tell you what, man, this might be one of the more creative marketing campaigns that I ever created. It was so fun to do. And uh, a couple of lessons along the way in this video that you'll learn. So here's what was going on. Here's what happened. So I was launching a software for real estate investors. And in a previous video, I talked about how this software sold over 1 million within 60 days. Well, this, this video is about how we generated $200,000 of that with 12 king size pillows. So what happened? Here's the problem that we ran into. We had lost some affiliate support right before the software was launched. Someone in the industry decided he didn't like what we were doing and really trying to sabotage us, right? And in, in the process that we had, he has some influence. Uh, you know, he, he's had a lot going on. He had influence. Problem is he got his panties in a bunch and got mad at what we were doing. I'm not sure exactly why. He kind of started throwing a tantrum about what we had going on caused and it, it, his tantrum kind of caused a few people to back out on us last minute. So when I say people backing out, these were people that were willing to support our product launch. They were affiliates and these affiliates had people, they had email subscribers, they had audiences online that were our specific buyers, right? So what they were doing was promoting our product and our software and they were gonna get paid a commission for doing that. Well, along the way, when this guy threw his tantrum, got all upset about it. So he, some of them backed out because they were closer with him than us, whatever, such, such is life, right? The whole bro thing happened right there. But so at that time I could have got really, really mad, right? I could have got mad. I could have got frustrated. I could have been all upset and said, this isn't going to work, right? Cause our big marketing plan was really to get these people to help us promote this and hit the market really, really quick. So we could own the market. But uh, I didn't, I didn't get mad, I got creative. So one thing is, one lesson in marketing, and well, really my, my parents taught me this a long time ago, right? You gotta know the people you're around, right? So I was told a long time ago, know the crowd, know the crowd, who's listening, right? So you might not wanna come in blasting NWA to a room full of Beatles fans, right? You gotta know the crowd. And one thing that I learned over the years was that many internet marketers are inherently lazy. I can say that because I've been there. Now, it's not a bad thing either, right? They just usually pick the easier process when making money. And when they pick the easier process, it's like, hey, I can do A, it's gonna take X amount of time and I'll make X amount of money. Or I can do B, it's gonna take more time and I probably will make the same amount of money, maybe more, but it's gonna take more time. So what did I have to do? I, I needed a solution for that, annoying the crowd. What was I gonna do? I want, I needed to grab attention, right? So there's a lot going on. There was a little bit of a, a rift going on in the industry because the internet marketing world is technically really a small world once you get pretty involved in it. So I had to grab attention. So here's exactly what I did to grab attention. I'm like, wait a minute. I don't know how these people are sleeping if they're not promoting my stuff. So I went to the store, I bought as Bed Bath & Beyond, I bought 12 obnoxiously big king size pillows. I wasn't sure how much it was going to cost to ship or anything else, right? So I knew if I sent this massive box in the mail, they were gonna open it, right? I think it was Dan Kennedy back in the day, I always used to talk about lumpy mail. Well, this is one hell of a lumpy mail piece that we sent. So the second thing I needed to do was I needed to give easy resources, right? I needed to give super easy resources for them to execute. So what I did is I went ahead, I set all 12 of these people up as an affiliate in my system. I created their tracking links. I went ahead, I took all the creative and emails I had written that they could send, and I put it all into one document onto a zip drive or flash drive, whatever you wanna call it, right? And now this flash drive, they open it up and it's got email one, send this first. Email two, send this day two at 8 a.m. Like that's how they were all described. And when they clicked on it, opened it, it had their, all they had to do was open it, copy, paste, send email, right? So I made it super easy. I gave them the resources. But what was key was what was on the letter, right? I had a handwritten letter kind of style thing that I put together. And in this letter, it said, hey, look, I've got a big product promotion going on right now. And I wanted to send you this, this massive pillow, uh, this, this very, or this comfy pillow, because frankly, I don't know how you're sleeping at night. 
if you're based along the lines like I don't know how you're sleeping at night if you're not promoting our product and so I wanted to make it easier for you to sleep in two ways one make it easy for you to promote us and two give you a bit more comfortable pillow to sleep at night and it was like just this kind of you know process that I sent in that letter it was pretty interesting but it was funny funny with some humor yet also catches their attention right so that's it. We grabbed the attention. We gave easy resources to help them execute on what we needed them to execute on. And the most important thing is follow. Them. You know, a lot of times though, when you send someone a king size pillow and they don't really know you that well, but they know, they know you, but you're not that close, you send them a king size pillow, they're going to reach out to you. So most of the people actually reached out to me. And, uh, you know, it's kind of interesting. It's a mixed bag of responses, right? Some reached out and promoted our stuff. Some reached out and said, hey, man, that was a super clever marketing piece. I appreciate it. They did not promote, but we did stuff in the future. And some people just it fell on deaf ears. I don't know. Or maybe they slept better because they had the pillow. But here's the thing, the result. All right. So we did that process. And the result is this. We ended up with three of the 12 people promoting our software to their audience. And it brought in over $200,000 in revenue. It would have been awesome to have all 12 people, but we didn't, we got three. Still pretty good conversion rate on direct mail, right? So with that, each pillow with the flash drive and shipping, it was like $55 total for each one. And I think it's total what six, $700 out the door for that promotion. Not a bad return on investment for $200,000 in revenue minus that six, six, 60, 700 bucks in promotion material that we had to send out, right? Now, I went on to have some great relationships with a handful of these 12 people that I sent pillows to, and I, a handful of them I still talk to today, right? So, which that's exciting. It was, it was also the important lessons of this, moral of the story of this video and this campaign that we ran is, is one is relationships in industry are super important. They're going to benefit you uh, long term. So two, uh, the next thing is don't ever back down from a challenge, right? So I was given a challenge that or I was challenged. I had somebody get all upset about what we were doing. Still to this day, don't know why, but either way, I could have backed down and not move forward or I could have done what I did. And I've never been one for flight. I've always been more fight kind of individual. So if you're building something, you truly believe in it, go after it, don't let anything get in your way. And also get creative. In today's marketing world, there's so many people, so many things going on. Everyone's attention is being pulled in different ways. Get creative to grab attention. Now you don't need to be cheesy creative. You gotta know the environment, you gotta know your crowd and all that, but grab attention, get creative, grab attention. And most importantly, if you believe in the stuff you're doing, you gotta be bold. And you're not, there's going to be people that don't like you along the way or try and get in your way because they're not confident in themselves or their, their, their ego is being hurt by your boldness and your confidence, right? So push past those people, be bold, be confident and push forward with, with the stuff that you're doing. So, Hey, if you gain value from this video, do me a favor. One, don't send me a king size pillow and two, like comment and share uh, this message with other people as well. Thank you. Did it.